2011 Mac Media Days here at Ford Field, and it's been another exciting one at that. And uh, coach, year three, and another highly anticipated season yeah. for your Eagles. Yeah, we're we're excited. We've had a tremendous off season, uh, starting with winter conditioning in January, and then spring football, and in the summer. And uh, we are just uh, ending our uh, preparation for fall camp. I, our players' last day of training will be Friday, and then they get about seven or eight days off, and then they report back on the 7th. We start practice on the 8th. The buy-in level has been incredible the last few years. I know it's been a large changeover from when you started the program to where it is now, but the biggest thing right now is just consistency. No changes on the coaching staff, no changes in support staff, and the players have all been around. Well, it's interesting. We the first two years we have had a lot of attrition in fact we only have 17 scholarship players remaining from the 85 from when I took over so we've had we've totally changed this roster I believe that based on the signs like you mentioned attendance and effort and attitude uh, there's tremendous buy-in certainly our university has proven their buy-in by uh, the things that they provided for us uh, with the indoor facility, with the training table, with the nutrition station, with the increase in budget and salary pool. So uh, I just feel really, you know, I'm happy going to work every day because uh, it's fun when you have a group of people committed towards achieving a goal. Well, and the biggest thing that it's always been the problem is that you and I have always talked about is you've set a lot of programs behind because of their scheduling issues. This year you get a schedule that's certainly in your favor. You start off with two football subdivision schools that give you a good chance to start off on a high note before you have to worry about some of the bigger teams you face. No question, and and Greg, both those teams are at home. You know, Howard uh, has a new staff, so that's always kind of you get a little nervous because you don't know exactly what they're going to do. Uh, Alabama State won seven games last year. Uh, so those will be competitive games, but games that we're capable of winning. Uh, then we go on the road to Michigan, Penn State, and back at home for Akron, uh, starting the max schedule. Uh, that will be a, a critical game uh, for our season. So uh, I'm just really excited. Like you mentioned, our schedule gives us a chance. We have six home games. Uh, so we have a terrific schedule, and we need to do our part. Well, and I think the other thing that can be said is you're going to be home for four weeks at one point during the year. You have Western, then an off week, and then Ball State and Buffalo. And uh, during that time, especially, it's starting to cold, get cold. Yeah, the yeah. Injuries are maybe a little, and that gives you a chance to be healthy rather than traveling those buses. Well, there's no doubt. We play eight straight, and then we have a bye. And right where we need a bye, and then to come off that bye and still be at home is terrific. And so the schedule sets up well. Uh, we, we just have to continue to prepare and believe in ourselves. Well, we move into year three, as we've talked about, and you got the monkey off your back, got some wins under the program's belt last year, and really saw some developments of some high-quality athletes on your team. And we'll look at the offense side first, and you got a guy that's going to lead the way, and Alex Gillette at the quarterback position. And I know a lot of things run out of him. What do you see from Alex this year needing to do? Well, his decision-making has uh, improved dramatically. You can see that in spring his accuracy has improved dramatically he's always been tough he's always been capable of running and making plays and if you you know you watch some of the games he really it's amazing some of the drives he's kept alive by making the guy miss or spinning out of a tackle or making a good decision and running it so people teams already have to deal with him but once he really becomes quick with decision making and accurate throwing the ball he's going to be a nightmare well, and we were looking through the guide today. You were surprised when you looked at that one number. He's like third all time in total yards in a single game. That shows what he can do. And now, if he's going to have more playmakers around him, that can only make things better. Well, 400 yards for any single man is a lot of yards. And you know, when he runs for almost 200 and throws for 225, I mean that is a lot of yards. And so, yes, I was shocked. I don't really look at the stats that much but I was shocked and uh, that's what he is though he's a terrific football player well other positions you look at running backs always important Dominic Shear last year banged up but should be better this year and behind him a guy that set the world on fire two 50 yard touchdown runs at Virginia and Javante Green and bringing in a freshman class it's very talented as well there's no question I thought Shear would be the starter 
Uh, he got hurt at the very end. He was battling Priest uh, tooth and nail, and he just uh, got the high ankle and never really recovered. I still think he needs to regain, uh, you know, his feel, and he's not quite back to where he was. It'll be fun to watch him in camp. Giovanni Green's explosive. He, you know, he took one uh, 60, 70 yards in spring. Mm-hmm. You know, he took a, had a couple long runs. So he is explosive, and he can get after it. And I'm excited about the young guys. Ryan Brumfield, I think he uh, really has a, a chance, and Bronson Hill both to really, really uh, – add to that stable running backs well you talk about explosiveness you look to the outsides for that you got a guy like donald scott out there just finished fifth in the uh, world in the pan am games in the triple jump and he's on one side you got a guy like garrett hoskins who can put up at the tight end position and then you got freshmen like tyler allen who won state championships in michigan you're going to have burners on the outside well it's, it's time that we you know those two positions we need to create long scoring uh, runs and uh, explosives, as we may call them. And so we, we uh, I'm looking for more long touchdowns. We need that. And uh, so those guys need to produce. Well, I got Larry, that always gets overlooked, too. You look at the line, you got Bridger Boke back there, Andrew Sorgatz, and all those guys that have just been an anchor. And they do a great job protecting Alec, one of the fewest sacks in the country last year. Well, Bridger's going to move into guard. You know, we moved Sorgatz from guard to center uh, because we lost Eric Davis, and ED was great for us, great player. Corey Neal was dominant, and, you know, I can't use that word about anybody else on the team. He was dominant in spring football. He'll play the left tackle. Uh, I think Lincoln Hanson will probably win that job at the right tackle. And then our other guard position is still, uh, we're still trying to decide who's going to win that job. I like the guys coming back. Uh, obviously, uh, Bridger and Sorgatz and even Neil. I, I, I hesitate to call one guy the leader because they all do a nice job. It's a tremendous group. Kurt Anderson does a great job of coaching them and keeping them together and and uh, creating an environment where they understand that they have to work together and care about each other. So, I, I, you know, we depend on our offensive line, and we have a good one, I believe. Move to the other side, a guy that got to mentor you, Phil Snow, has a defense that is going to step up this year just from the fear of fact they got more playmakers and they're a year older, and a guy you brought with you today, Andy Malumba, is going to be an a- anchor on that line. Well, uh, you know, Snow knows what he's doing, and he's patient. You know, he last year we knew it would take some lumps turning, learning the defense, and he, of course, you know, with a guy who's coached in the NFL and who's had so much success in the Pac-10, he knows defense, and he could have schemed and done all that, but we made a conscious decision to teach these guys uh, how to play football in a fundamental fashion. Uh, we, you mentioned it. We do have depth. We went out and recruited uh, seven junior college players, six of whom were here uh, this spring, uh, three linebackers, uh, two safeties, and a corner. Uh, and uh, I think that those guys at competition, particularly at the linebacker spot, uh, Justin Cutworth is going to be a great, great player. It reminds me of Pat Tillman in the sense that he's strong, He's smart, he's, and he, his work ethic is unbelievable. Uh, he's going to make plays. Uh, and those other two guys are fighting. You know, uh, Marcus English has stepped up, so he's a lot better. So, you know, we have some guys at that linebacker level where we were lacking a little bit. And then when you go into secondary, Latarius Thomas is, for the first time since I've known him, healthy. And happy, Mm -hmm. and you know when you're benching like he is, 415 pounds and all that. I mean, you know the guy's a physical specimen. If he plays up to his ability, we have something there. Marlon Pollard uh, is another guy who can make some plays. Uh, And then Rose last year was decent. And so uh, I like the guys. You know, Max Williams will probably be the other starter back there. He has some experience playing around. Our stand-up players are going to give us a chance because that's what we're really lacking. Our guys up front, I think, will be stout. Well, and lastly, special teams you look at. You had a special weapon in Jay Carute's run out there last year. That allowed you to have great field position. He's a year older, a year stronger now that uh, Blair Wagner's got with him. And the, all those special teams can only get better now another year with Tom Burpee helping him out. Well, no question. You know, uh, Tom 
has, you know, he delegates to us coaches, and I think all of our coaches have to do a tremendous job of taking great pride. But uh, uh, like you mentioned, Karoops, you know, that is a weapon when you're punting the ball and you're directional punting the ball and there's no returns. Uh, so he does that. Uh, our improvement needs to be in our kicking game, kicking field goals, and kicking off. Uh, I think our coverage units have improved, but our, our, our kicking uh, in terms of field goals and kicking off, uh, we need to make huge strides there. And our kids have been working hard, and I believe we will. Camp opens August 7th, but 39 days till that uh, 7 o'clock opener against Howard. And any final words for fans kind of to get out there and really embrace this team and kind of that word that you had in year one, embrace the process? Well, that has gone nowhere. You know, it, it, the process, uh, you know, continues. Uh, and we have to all embrace it. But this is what I want to say. You know, I love our fans, and we want to. What we want to do as a program is we want to be a program that the fans can be proud of, and we want to start having success because I believe that once that happens, that we'll see people come out of the woodwork. They'll support this team, and I think our community needs that. I think with the budget cuts, as you mentioned, Greg, in our conversation, that you know we can provide uh, some excitement and some hope for our community. So uh, we want to do that. Uh, we have a tremendous group of very dedicated players, and not only players, but people like you and the Blair Wagners and all our coaches. We're all rowing the boat in the same direction right now, and, and uh, you can really feel that, and it just feels great, and I'm just excited for year three. Well, help paddle along because it'll only make things go even quicker. September 3rd, 7 o'clock, right near Sun Stadium. This guy will lead his team out to face Howard. We hope to see you there. Until next time, Greg Center and... Ron English for Eagle All Access.